Welcome into Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham and appreciate everybody for clicking on this video. The Mavs have played two games since we last talked, so we'll break that down later on. But first, let's get into the trade rumors portion of this show. Could Dallas trade for Eric Gordon, a player they saw last night against the Houston Rockets? Gordon has been a popular trade candidate early on this year and really for a couple of years now he's been someone that has been connected to trade rumors. And hey, maybe he's unhappy in Houston because they're in a full-blown rebuild. He's tweeting out angry emojis uh, as well. Um, I've always liked Eric Gordon. 3 and D guy, can play some point if you need him to, which, hey, <laughs> I don't know if you've been paying attention, but uh, this team needs another ball handler. I think he would fit in really well uh, in Dallas, would give you another shooter, which uh, – I don't know if you've also paid attention to this. He is not, or this team has not shot the ball well this year. 12 for 55 from three last night. Eric Gordon could certainly help you in that regard. Even now, I mean, he's still quality player, man. Had a really good year last year. Numbers are down a bit this year, but he's still 36% from three. 12 points per game. He can play point. He can play off ball. I've always liked his game. And when was he at his best? When he played with James Harden, who... Luka's just a better Harden, really, better peak Harden uh, in, with his ability to score and kick the ball out. And Gordon should be able to be a guy that could benefit from playing with a guy like Luka Doncic. He's a vet. He can play make. He can create his own shot. He can be a catch and shoot, reliable scoring. I think he could give this team 12 to 15 points per game. Uh, I, like I said, he's been good for years now. I mean, last year shot the ball extraordinarily well at 41% from three-point range. So I think if you brought him in here, he'd shoot anywhere from 36 to 40% from three, give you 12 to 15 points per game, dish it a little bit, play a little bit of defense, uh, and he's just solid. He's consistent. He's, like I said, a vet, and you could use another guy like that on this roster. And let's be honest, with the way Reggie Bullock has played this year outside of that fourth quarter against the Clippers – He's been pretty shitty. Like, he has not been good uh, for this team. Certainly, you know, his career uh, uh, shows that uh, he uh, uh, plays better later in the year. But right now, he's not playing well. Gordon has never averaged less than, what, 14 a game, in his, 13 a game in his career? So, uh, bring him in here if you could get him. That would be very, very nice. If Gordon is traded to the Mavs, I promise you, we'll hit you with the video. So, hit that subscribe button here on Dallas Mavericks today. These two teams have traded before. We saw in the offseason the Christian Wood trade. So, it's not like that couldn't be a possibility. So, if you want more videos here on your Dallas Mavericks, hit that subscribe button. And if Gordon comes to Dallas, we will have it covered. Here's a trade idea from Sports Illustrated. Uh, Eric Gordon to the Mavs for Davis Bertans in two seconds. Yes, sign me up. If you can get him without giving up a first and you dump Bertans, uh, I'm absolutely in. Now, would Houston do this? Do they want to absorb Bertans' deal and not get a first-round pick for it? I, I don't know. I don't know. Now, hell, I might even sweeten the deal by throwing in <sighs> – I mean, would you throw in a Josh Green coop? Would you throw in a Jaden Hardy? Hardy, maybe. I might throw in Hardy. Not Josh Green. Okay, I don't know. I might throw in Green. He's not showing me much, but uh, hey, man. Uh, I'm just saying, you need more right now. You need more offense, and uh, Eric Gordon could give you that. What do you guys think? Would you trade for Eric Gordon? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Let me know down in the comment section below. Would you trade for Eric Gordon? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Now, today's show is sponsored by the great established titles. And this holiday season, you can become a lord or a lady by following the steps below. Let me tell you about established titles first because they are a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland and uh, help global reforestation efforts. You see on your screen right now where our plot of land is over there. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support those global reforestation efforts. You can officially then add the title of Lord or Lady on your credit card, your plane ticket, your dating profiles. And by the way, the first 200 people 
Purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot just within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our own Mavericks Today Kingdom. This makes for a great last minute gift and established titles is running their very early Black Friday sale right now with deals up to 80% off and we're going to throw you an extra 10% off this holiday season when you go to EstablishedTitles.com slash chat and use promo code chat to get that 10% off. Get going today. Support the show by supporting our sponsors, EstablishedTitles.com slash chat, promo code chat. All right. It was a historically bad night for the Mavericks last night. Obviously, no Luka Doncic. She, so you, sh you knew it was not going to be easy. Well, it was just a disaster, uh, to, to put it uh, uh, mildly. I mentioned 12 of 55 from three earlier. Here's Tim McMahon uh, tweeting out, the Mavs have managed to have the lowest three-point percentage ever by a team with at least 50 attempts in a game per stat head. We just didn't shoot straight, Jason Kidd said. Yeah, I mean, they, you were shooting shooting curveballs. I don't know what was happening. McMahon added this, that uh, the starters only had 27 points. That's the fewest for a starting five by 10 points this season. Dallas starters shot 20% from the floor, their lowest by a starting lineup since the Lakers on April 5th, 26. Teen. All Dallas starters scored in single digits for the fourth time in franchise history. The lineup the last time, Steve Nash, Michael Finley, Dirk Nowitzki, A.C. Green, and Sean Bradley. That's kind of hard to believe that that lineup all went uh, single digits. Uh, and then ESPN sets an info with the assist, of which Mavs starters had 10, all by Spencer Dinwiddie. Yikes. Oh, come on. Lucas sits one game this year, and you, you can't even function? against the Rockets. I mean, the Rockets turned it over 23 times and you lost. That is a disaster. Just horrible shooting. And look, Dinwiddie, 3 for 18. You knew he was due for a clunker and it comes on a night where Lucas sits out. There's just obvious issues here. You don't have a third ball handle. We've been talking about it for freaking months on this channel. Role players aren't making shots. Shout out Reggie Bullock. 0 for 6 from 3 last night. 0 for 6 overall. No point presence on defense. Uh, JaVale was out, but he's been bad anyway. Kleba was out. Dwight Powell's been okay overall, but th we, there's a reason he was out of the rotation to start the year. He doesn't rebound, and he's not a rim protector. Uh, it's obvious that this team can't play at a high level without Luka. I mean, that's, that's, that's just reality. That is reality. Without Luka Doncic, this is not a playoff team. That's just a fact. Luckily, you do have him, and luckily, the West, kind of wide open right now. Now, I don't think... The Mavs can be the best team in the West um, with the way their roster currently sits, uh, but you got to think that a move could be coming. Once December 15 rolls are around, keep an eye on the Mavericks to make a move, make a trade. Uh, they just don't have enough horses to go on a run, so it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. Um, but so far, um, you know, when Luke is out there, you have a chance, and when he's not, you don't. I mean, that's that's really what it comes down to. What are your concerns with this Mavs team? What level of concern? Scale it from 1 to 10. 1 being you're not concerned, all is good. 10 being very concerned. I mean, I'm at, I'm at like a 7. You know, if Luke is healthy, this team can beat anybody, but I also have been consistent by saying I don't think this team can make the finals. I think they're sealing right now as they're currently constructed is the conference finals. Uh, so let me know, scale from 1 to 10, how concerned you are. Maybe Jay Crowder is someone who could help. Multiple NBA insiders say that progress is being made from Phoenix in terms of trying to trade away Jay Crowder. Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports tweeting this out. Word is that the Suns appear close to finalizing a three-team trade involving Jay Crowder uh, prior to tip-off against Golden State tonight. So, obviously no trade happened last night, but, uh, you know, uh, I would. we've talked about Crowder. I would take him 3 and D. Uh, he, you know, he's always a guy who's playing heavy minutes for a playoff team. So, um, yeah, I would take him here. He's an upgrade over Bullock right now. Uh, even Dorian Finney-Smith has just – been okay this year. Had a good game a couple nights ago. Wasn't good against Houston. Um, didn't have the best year last year, did Jay. But, again, you know, he's kind of, you know, going to be a 36% three-point guy. Average about 10 points per game. I mean, that's what he's going to do. And he's going to play really, really good defense. Now, would Phoenix ship him to Dallas, a team that obviously gave the Suns trouble in the playoffs last year and knocked them off? I don't know. But at the same time, uh, they seem motivated to trade Crowder. Crowder wants out of there, so if they can get something for him, 
uh, they would probably, excuse me, agree to doing just that. Pick one to trade for. I don't know who I'd rather have, honestly. Coop? Who would you rather have here? G for Gordon, C for Crowder. I think I'd rather have Gordon, too, because he gives you some of that ball handling that you need. Now, I'm not going to be upset if they get Jay Crowder, obviously, but if I had to pick, I would pick Gordon. G for Gordon, C for Crowder. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we're out of here. If you're a real one, type real one down below. Hopefully the Mavs get back at it. Schedule ramps up. Who's their next game? Uh, Coop, uh, Den Denver, back-to-back -back starting uh, Friday, Saturday. So, um there we go. We'll see what happens on that front. I'm Harrison Graham. We'll see you soon here on Mavericks Today.